everybody, welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog and welcome to another episode of my eyeshadow palette and as you can see we have a very special episode today with a very special guest, Arthur. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> and today we are going to do all my Morphe palettes, so that will be quite a lot. Let's get going. Boom! Right, so how many palettes do you got? So, uh, are the Morphe palettes all your favorite palettes actually? Uh, no, but they're actually quite affordable, so I, it's just easy to buy them, you know? What does, it, what does it mean affordable? Because I, I, I think, mean... <laughs> like, you know, uh, pff, Revolution just... palettes, those are affordable, so what is affordable? No. What is I mean... affordable price? Yeah, I mean, with Morphe palettes, you usually wait till, till, till they are 50% off and then they are like very affordable. Okay, so what, like 15 quid for a palette? Uh, I think so. I think it was like 15, 20 pounds for a big palette. Oh, that's not uh, bad. So it, it was not bad, actually, uh, but you have to wait for a promotion and then they are cheap. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, they have like nice colors. We have a ho how many we have uh, uh, in we've general? We've got four, the big four palettes. And the four smaller ones. So. Yeah, we're just going to see them one by one uh, and you will actually be able to hear some professional opinion about them uh, and yeah I'm actually quite curious to uh, to hear what you think about them myself and I'm curious what you think about your palettes as well like yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have two different opinions yes. like from a makeup artist side and from like individual client as yeah, well yeah just a regular person who that's her own makeup, that's that. <laughs> no professional. Right, All right, so let's get going. So uh, show me your favorite palette that you've got from here. The big one, the small one? Uh, I think I like this one. <clears throat> I okay. think I like this one. This is the classic Jaclyn Hill palette, the very first one she released. And this is very versatile. I mean, I'm going to show Ooh, you. Oh, that's nice shades. colors. These are the shades. And this is actually a very popular palette. I've yeah. seen it on Instagram it so is. many times. And apparently the pigmentation is very good as well. That's actually true. And the shades, as you can see, I mean, you have some crazy colors here, uh, like crazy, not overly crazy, but let's say like blue or like greens. Uh, and then there are like really uh, toned down shades in here. Uh, so you can, I think in my personal opinion, this is actually like a very versatile palette. You can create a day look, you can create a night look. And it's actually very like user friendly. If you're just a beginner, I think you can create looks out of that, no problem. Yeah, because there are not many like crazy colors like, you yeah. know, vibrant pinks and mm -hmm. yellows, which are very difficult for like beginner makeup artists or someone like an individual client that is yeah. uh, working on a palette and to do something creative. Even me, I'm sometimes struggling with doing like a makeup and using like four or five colors is like, what the hell? So I'm still practicing this. Yeah. But in this palette, this is very versatile, as you said, because uh, there are some light colors, like some nude tones, uh, neutral shades, some vibrant colors that you can give extra kick into your look uh, and it looks very interesting. So if someone is looking for a palette and you're looking for a palette and you're trying to get like a very nice look and you're starting just beginning, this is like a very cool palette. So, and what do you think guys? Did you think like this kind of a palette is okay or would you go with something less intense? Like, you know, I don't know, maybe eight colors or nine. How many colors what? are these? 40 something? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Never count on them, honestly. Uh, there is five here and see oh, four, five, six, seven here. Thirty-five. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-five <laughs> colors. That's a lot. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. So, uh, would you use it on a daily basis? I would. I actually do. I sometimes uh, do use it on a daily basis. I can create like a very uh, everyday look with it. Uh, but just as you said, I can create something more crazy. So whenever I just do like a makeup for, uh, for example, for YouTube, I usually use a little bit of these uh, Brighter colors. interesting shades yeah, here. But what I like about it, uh, these shades, you have like a, um, several colors in like a similar shade. So you can actually blend them really nicely. And that, that, that makes things easier for a are, beginner. Are, are they blendable? They are quite blendable. Just uh, have a swatch, have a have a look, and um, just uh, tell right. us what you think. <laughs> so we've got some pressed uh, pressed powders, and we've got some pressed matte eyeshadows that I can see over here. Uh, so let's see some some shimmers. So you've got the beam. Oh, it's very nice, and it feels very nice. Oh, and the pigmentation is so good. Uh, let's see the mustard one. They're not so powdery, so they're not making much mess as well. That's actually true. I don't really have to like twerk. Just... Okay, twerk. Twerk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see the full party as well. Yeah, so the consistency is very nice. The pigmentation looks very interesting as well. Um, so let's let's do some swatches. So we've got one, two. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, 
Oh, I mean, these shades, uh, the bright, the, the lighter shades here, they're not very difficult. Sometimes when you have like a darker skin, they, they're not very visible, but these are actually quite nicely pigmented. I very think, nice yeah. and pigmented. So the first one is, uh, you can use it as a highlighter or just go in the corner of your eyes or to mm -hmm. make like a bigger effect under your eyebrows. Uh, and the rest like a mustard, purpley, and this uh, like, a, what is it called, a twerk? Work, I like to work. And full party, party. Full party is very nice. Yeah. It's a very shimmery shade. They're very soft. Uh, they look very nice and I think they are blendable. To be honest, it, with the blendiness, we would need to see on the actual base, on, on the hand, on the eyes and mm -hmm. see how it's blending. But it looks very nice and interesting. So some sometimes uh, the difficult thing is like one shadow is taking over the other one. So when you're blending it on your eyes, it's like literally taking one shadow and then the other one and you literally see nothing. Like, yeah. like on my last video uh, on my YouTube channel, I was testing Avon uh, new collection, Bloom, mm -hmm. Bloom something. Uh, so the pigmentation was very, very neutral. It were like very pastel colors. Uh, There's no comparison with this palette. And okay. they were like taking over each other. So I was blending one and it was taking the other one. And it was like... Uh. By the way, if you want to see the video that Arthur mentioned, uh, go and have a look at his channel. Uh, you'll find it there. Uh, so yeah. What do you think about this palette as a makeup <clears throat> artist? Would you actually consider buying this? Um... I would definitely get it, first of all, because um, if you're an individual client, there's no mirror, as you can see, so this can be quite like, oh, what the hell? Yeah. Uh, but if you're a makeup artist and you're doing makeup on someone else, this is like amazing palette. There's a versatile of colors. Uh, you can go with like a daily look, as you said from yeah. the beginning, into a like um, night look or even change it to a festival look or yeah. just wear one of those colors individually yeah, single which is makeup. like single yeah. makeup yeah, yeah single, single, single eyeshadow so so, so I, I, I'm, I'm wondering what from those palettes that we've got here which one is your least favorite palette do, i don't have a least favorite one but i do have one that i've never used because it scares me why uh i'll show you this is this one this is a uh, social butterfly and it scares me a little bit because look at the Ooh. color so the shades are like this. So as you can see, very intense, bright pink, uh, purpley shades. And honestly, I uh, am a little bit iffy to try it because there's this is, loads of shimmers. It doesn't seem like an easy palette for a beginner or for like a non-professional. I mean, honestly, if you, it's just like if you know, like those pinks or purples, they're like really intense. But like what? you're you're scared because oh, you never use those colors, or like just looking at the palette, you're like. I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to create a nice makeup with it. You know, it's not about like. I have like dark colors on my face, so I just probably could get away with these. I mean, I could, it could just look fine, <clears throat> but it just looks a little bit difficult for me to create something like, you know, I'm just afraid that I'm just going to end up with like a dirty patch on my eye, you know? <laughs> uh, I mean, in general, I'll this palette, try, this palette yeah. looks nice, but did you try, yes. did you ever try using any of those colors before? I'm not from here. I mean, but like in, in general. Yeah, I think so. I mean, if we, I mean, there's going to be like another palette. Uh, I think Jeffrey Star's palette, and there are colors similar to these ones, like you know, there are pinks and stuff. And mm -hmm. I used it, but uh, it gave me a little bit more variety there. This is actually quite dark, quite bright, but quite dark at the same time. So yeah, there's I'm... loads of shimmers yes. as well. So this is quite difficult because yeah. when you got just shimmers in the palette, is like what you can create. So yeah. you still need to look what's on top of like mm -hmm. on the market yeah. and what's like popular to do uh, mm -hmm. at the at the moment but I've got like lots of friends and customers mm -hmm. saying like oh this is an amazing pilot but I'm so scared to use it why because you never used it before and you're like okay I'm gonna step out and then again yeah. you're getting another palette you've got similar colors and I'm like uh, no because you never tried it also, try it first and then you're yeah. gonna see how it looks also this is like this is quite dark so obviously you won't use it on like everyday type of like thing you Definitely. just use it for like I don't know YouTube recordings or party obviously we don't go to parties these days uh, but for the YouTube I want to have a nice makeup not like something that that just won't work you know so that's probably the reason why I never got to try it I mean I didn't have it for that long but um I mean, I like the shades, but still a little bit like... So, so. Mm. Right, so the pigmentation is... Uh, it's, it's, it is very nice. As for Morphe palettes, I'm not surprised because I've been working on yeah. Morphe, I don't know, like seven years ago. I remember the big yeah. palettes that I got like from my friend. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she gave me as a present and mm -hmm. the pigmentation was okay. But nowadays, the pigmentation is getting more, 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 more intense. So that's really good. So we're going to start with shimmers. And then we've got the pink one. Oh, the pink one is intense. So oh. intense. Then we've got the metallic green, which looks like yeah. brownie, greeny. Is yeah. that one? Oh yeah, it's a little bit greeny. And then greeny we've gray. got the matte green. Ooh. 
it look, looks almost like a khaki. It looks very nice. Yeah. Pigmentation Pigment, is crazy. amazing. But, but like, pink? look, oh pink God. and green, I think you will create, I will go with a, with a green color all over the lid and yeah. then maybe pink inside in the corner of oh, the eye. Oh, that's a good idea. And then brighten See? it up. With... Maybe I'll use it next time because that's, uh, that's actually something I didn't think of because I was thinking like how to apply mm -hmm. the pink on my lid, but maybe yeah, in the corner only. That's, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll try. Like 2021 is going to be with a, a, about like vibrant colors, more like a natural look. But if you want all to right. create something, uh, something more intense and interesting, we're going with the colors in the corner of the eyes and then add some, oh, it's powdery, that's some pro, shimmer on top of That's of a pro color. tip. I'm going, I mean, that's uh, probably going to convince me to use yeah, this, this is going to, to be, try, you know? Yeah, this is going to be something probably different that you yeah. did, like, yeah. like you're doing normally. I'm not afraid to try different. I'm afraid to... You don't, you can't be scared to experiment. True. Otherwise, you're not going to learn anything. Okay. <laughs> so just try different stuff. Yeah. So how do you compare? Uh, do you see any qual uh, um, difference? difference in the quality to comparing to Jacqueline Hill palette? Um, how I do mean, it feels. It, it feels very similar. Very similar. Because I heard somewhere that Jacqueline Hill is a little bit different formula to other it, Morphe shadows. It is a little bit powdery. Mm -hmm. It is more powdery, I think. Uh, and the pigmentation of the shimmery ones, uh, these ones, the Morphe ones, is it is softer, is more buttery, okay. and the first one was more more powdery. So it, first of all, it's gonna do a lot of mess on the palette, and it can cause some fallout. So if you got okay. full face done already with foundation, and then you're playing with the eyeshadow, you can have some problems on uh, with falls out fallouts. And some of the palettes, some of the colors are um, leaving stains as well. So right. we need to be careful with this as well. And a good um, makeup re remover, I think. Yeah, good makeup that. remover. <laughs> and don't rub it first, just like let it stay, yeah, let it soak, just, and then... Yeah. I remember I was using um, Alexis Stone palette, mm -hmm. uh, the red colors, and it stained the whole lid, and I had to be like, you know, wearing sunglasses for two panda, days. Panda, like panda bear. <laughs> mm -hmm. Two days, okay. sunglasses, because I couldn't like oh, get rid of it. <sighs> Very nice. Uh -huh. Okay, so the next palette you choose, okay? Okay, so... Um, what actually? <laughs> guess which I'm gonna choose. I, I know which one you're <laughs> gonna choose. The pink one. <laughs> Obviously, I oh, love okay. pink. Mm. So, uh, this one brought my eye because I've got two black palettes from Morphe and this one is like the mm -hmm. most colorful mm -hmm. one that you gave me actually. Uh, so, I bet this one was co collaboration with Jeffree Star, right? Yes, yes. You can tell straight away, Jeffree Star, pink. And I'm not surprised with what's inside. So, what is your opinion? Uh, as, as, as like a um, typical customer going to Morphe store, you're opening the palette or you see it on the, well, on the display. Me, this palette is not for everybody, okay? You have to be quite brave to use these colors. Uh, and I think uh, these colors, and I don't want to discriminate anybody, but these colors probably work better for like darker colors than for like a very uh, delicate tones. blonde person, yeah. you know? Uh, but obviously, like I, I'm pretty sure the blonde person could wear them too, but this actually requires, I think, a little bit more technique sometimes. Because, you know, I can... I, I have black eyes, so, you know, that green, that doesn't really scare me. And this palette is very bright, very colorful, but there are no dark shades. I mean, there are a couple of them, but, like, it's not dark, so that's why it doesn't really scare me that much as the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, I've used that one quite a couple... I mean, a couple of times, and uh, there are, like, some really... Um, pale colors here so i think you can create a nice look with one accent only for example you know mm -hmm. one just so yeah I, I... but like if you go in a store would you get this palette i got it so yeah I you... it from... <laughs> so i don't know it's really difficult for me to say yeah but like like an, like an like an average customer if you see this palette is like you want to get it or it's like ah oh, wow it's nice but no i'm not gonna do any makeup with this not sure not sure because I, I actually i actually got it because uh, i actually what attracted me is what, the, colors? the colors yeah but i'm I, as i said this is not a part for everybody you kind of have to have you kind of have to like that type of makeup you know yeah. i think or you, you like experimenting so you're yeah. gonna just experiment i'm pretty sure you would like that palette definitely, because you know definitely. that's uh, that's how we um yeah and the first thing that, that comes to my mind is like there's so many colors it looks like oh jeffree star did the eyeshadow palette but he did like every color like randomly a little mm -hmm. bit of this 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 and that it looks like <laughs> okay <laughs> right so you've got some neutral colors you've got some some browns some purples one bright pink then you've then you suddenly got greens and then brown and a little bit black, of everything obviously. Every, everything everything so i think everyone can find something for themselves uh, creating like a daily look just using the brown ones then if you want to get a little bit crazy you're going with the pink one or the yellow or the green one like I'm dipping in sure <laughs> so Jeffree Star is known for his 
pigmentation of his eyeshadow palettes, his lipsticks, most of his uh, products. Uh, but to be honest, I've never tried any of the eyeshadow palettes. Okay, then <laughs> there you go. There you oh, go. I actually wanted you to try this one. This one is actually... Oh, that's interesting. See, it's very chunky. Yeah. So uh, we've got pressed pigment. We've got pressed um, pigments, the shimmery ones, and this one is uh, more like a. It's almost like a loose uh, glitter, but it's quite chunky. So this one is going on top of your yeah. uh, uh, of your makeup, uh, and it's not blendable, obviously. Uh, you can. Do see you the... apply this with your finger? Yes. I usually do. Yes, yeah. Yes. Because yes. I, yeah. Because yeah, uh, the normal brush is not going to just apply yeah. the product. So you mm -hmm. need to do it on like a wet. Way. So you wet the brush and then okay. dip in, or, or just finger. normally you go with the finger. Simple as that. <laughs> Simple as that. So we've got the green one. Ooh, nice. This green one. Mm -hmm. Then we've got some champagne gold, mm -hmm. and then the chunky one. The chunky one is quite difficult to work with. Uh, loads of different brands tried doing lots of makeup with this one, and it's quite difficult to work. just even try it. Even just yeah. touch it. It's Oh, it's like quite uh, sticky, I think. So it's like um, you have to be really careful not to smudge your makeup if you apply. Yeah. Just like pat very just gently. Just dip the finger in yeah, and tap, 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 tap onto your eye. But it looks yeah. very nice. And uh, I've read and I've heard lots of comments about Jeffree Star mm -hmm. uh, makeup. Uh, his products are amazing. Uh, pigmentation is good. I don't know how the lipsticks are working, but the palettes are like very, yeah. very nice. And this eyeshadow palette is amazing. It has a big mirror, so everyone can use it, individual clients, yeah. and even makeup artists as well. It looks really nice. True. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we've been... We've had a look at three palettes now. Um, yep. <clears throat> let's move on. Okay, so where do you want to go from here? Another um, big one? Another small one? Um, I think... I, big ones. Big ones. Let's okay, go with big let's... ones. So, again, we've got Morphe. Um, so, help me out. And so let's see this what one says. is hotspot and this one is boss mood which one do you want boss to boss mood boss mood okay boss mood and we've got greens as well amazing palette loads of colors and again big versatility on, of what to choose actually does this one look to you like a uh, autumnal yeah it does yeah, it, it does, does. It, it just this it's is... like it brings me like yeah. oh autumn yeah a little bit of green mm -hmm. and then it's changing yeah. for some gingery some yeah it's oranges which is like yeah, yeah. And like brown, like, you know, very earthy shades, I think. So yeah. you always start, like, you're always starting, like, the brands are always usually starting with the bright color at the left corner, going the different colors and ending the palette with the black, uh, black yeah. shadow at the end. Um, I'm not surprised with the, with the, with the colors, because they're, like, typical for Morphe, a lot of yeah. different colors. And it, like, it's a versatility for everyone, so everyone can find something for their, their, their selves, actually. I and do think that the colors actually make sense here. There yeah, are like they some do. greens, there are some comparing, oranges. Yeah, comparing yeah. to Jeffree Star, yeah. which on the first look it doesn't make any sense. It's quite random. And this, this one, one is, is more like, like well balanced, I would yeah, say. Yes. Yeah. So starting with the bright colors, so I, I, I could tell you've been using this one. Yeah. yeah, I've been using a couple of these, but obviously, I mean, this one the, the most because it kind of like just something as a base for. Mm -hmm. So the consist. Oh, nice. Nice green. The consistency is very. Uh, very nice. It's not making much m mess on the palette, but like... Oh, that's true. That's what I realized now. Greens are very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, which one should we go with? The ginger one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's see, just to be curious. Yeah, the black. How the the black, most oh, difficult color of black, black, I think. You black know? and yellow. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got the green. Ooh, it's very nice and like nice. a goldy, goldy nice. green. Then this one is like a... Yeah, it's quite um, light, mm -hmm. light green. Quite sheer, yeah. Oh, this one's nice. This one is like a very, like leaves. <gasps> Ooh, the black one is like so black. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I have to tell you, I'm quite impressed with the pigmentation, especially the black one is really, really black for that, you know, inexpensive kind yeah, of like Yeah, sometimes brand. it's so difficult to get like a black mm -hmm. eyeshadow. And when you like look it on the eyeshadow, it's like, oh, it's a really nice black. And dip in and it's like gray. gray. Yeah. This one is very nice, uh, and I can tell like on in the way of blending mm -hmm. the eyeshadows. Um, see, I'm going down, and there's still Ooh, yeah. pigmentation, so it's very nice. Uh, same with the ginger one; it's blending very nice. Uh, I've been using Morphe palettes for quite a while, and I must say it, those are one of the best eyeshadow palettes. I mean, yeah, I've been working because with. obviously, like you have like very expensive eyeshadow palettes, and they're good, but you know you have to pay the price. Uh, and these are, I mean. 
they're not expensive, especially if you buy, if you, if you just buy them for like fifty percent, which happens quite often. Uh, and then you can like have like a really big palette with a really good quality yeah, and, and a good pigmentation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And to be honest, like look. I, I just chosen like colors yeah. randomly, and to be honest, you could, you could yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could create something nice with yeah. this uh, with this combination. And there are quite many looks you can create with this one because uh, you can actually obviously mix colors. But if you are a beginner and if you're not sure how to do it, you can just stay within like one um, like shade family. Or yeah. Whatever, yeah. But so. I think it's this palette will be good for like the whole year. Yeah. Because you can start with like you know spring, mm -hmm. summer, summer look. Yeah. A little bit of yeah, greens. Yeah, it could be, it could be yeah. summery with the oranges. Then yeah. go with autumn, obviously, yeah. and then winter. And go with some purples, black, That's smoky true. eyes. That's actually I true. would say this is like the whole year palette. Yeah. It's amazing. So if, if you could get it for 15 quid, even 20 quid, like, I'm on girl, this is like <laughs> really worth it. Show us, show us the next one. So the next one is Hotspot. Uh, and honestly, I mean, I think the Morphe palettes are so Colors, nicely composed yes. that... I honestly, I'm always tempted to buy more. I just have too many palettes, so I don't really need them. And I have to, re I mean, I have to just reply this to myself. Tell me reply. about it. I have to just say this to myself constantly. I will have too many, you don't need any more. Uh, because otherwise I'll probably buy more. Because, you know, look at these shades. I mean, this for me screams summer. Uh, because of the, like, the blue ones and golden. In I mean, especially this part. Especially the right part, part of this palette. It actually is very summery to me. Um, I would choose the second part. Like not the blue ones. Mm -hmm. This is like very wintry. Those are like quite um, cold tones, and I will go with the warm tones. Oh really? So for me, even those blue ones actually seem quite summery. But you know, it's like an individual perception. Everybody yeah. feels it differently. But I do like how they actually compose their palette in terms of colors. And see, like, everything you know, is like like in a bookshelf. Everything yeah. is like everything has the, its own space yes. and it has to be like this. That's true. So this is this is what I like with the Morphe palettes. Mm -hmm. I think these are very good ones for um, makeup artists too because you can have like, you know, like a selection of different, different and shapes. different like um, skin types or like uh, skin tones and you can pretty much choose something out of that, you know, you can create a similar look on like a blonde or like a brunette. Yeah. Uh, similar look, just using different uh, shades, a little bit different. And there's no black know. on this one. Yeah. There's just like, like a dark brown. Yeah, dark brown. Do you want to do swatches? Uh, you can swatch it on my hand. I can okay. just give you my hand, but uh, because I know you, you want to touch it. <laughs> right. So, w which one do you think people would like normally use? Like a like a normal random person, just like you know, average oh, Zosha. Style. Average. I don't know. I would choose this one. Okay, that's like. Okay, my, let's go. This is really crazy. Um... Okay, those are. This one is more like very. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> the pigmentation is crazy, guys. So on the camera it looks quite dark, but on the hand yeah. and you're quite pale. It looks very bright and yes. nice. It's Lovely. it's quite powdery shade, so mm -hmm. this one is gonna make a lot of powdery, lots yeah. of mass. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, I don't know, maybe the the light one. So this one mm -hmm. is gonna be like a peachy one. It's very delicate. I can tell that these are more powdery. The, can you feel these? it? Straight yeah, even I don't if know I'm if doing... it's just this palette, but yeah, I can I can feel my skin, comparing to. Uh, some other ones. Ooh, that one is... Uh, it is It is very powdery. Yeah, it can create mess, uh, that's for sure, because it already has some uh, fallout. fallout here, yeah. But the shades are <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and let's go with the... This is like a... It's quite dark gold. Okay. So it's like a yellow gold, so yeah. no, nothing like... Um, yeah. So this is how it looks. So what do you think? I mean, the pigmentation, crazy. The first one is crazy. Yeah, this one is just, I mean, I can't believe how pigmented what's, that one What's is. good with the pigmentation of this kind of palettes uh, that you can just like, um, you know, scrub a little bit from the eyeshadow palette, mm -hmm. mix it with setting spray and use it as a li eyeliner. So... Ooh. Oh, that's such a good idea. I never, I mean, I always wanted to try some colorful eyeliners, like, you know, this one, for example. This could be like great as an eyeliner and for like a specific makeup, yeah, you know? And not many brands are doing yeah. like, I mean, NYX is doing lots of colorful eyeliners, but like... There's not many colors to be honest to choose. So if you like this one, for example, very bright, yeah. just scoop a little bit with like a spatula or something, mm. mix it with setting spray, uh, and then get like an angle brush and use it as a. Well, that is uh, such a, a great advice because I never knew how to where to find these eyeliners, you know. So that's that's really cool. I like NYX because uh, they've got loads of different colors, but. Mm -hmm. Recently, I've been using white eyeliner, mm -hmm. and it was so difficult to like wash it off my of my eye. Really? It was so difficult. So I was using um, 
oil remover, makeup remover, mm -hmm. and it was still like on my eyes. So difficult. Oh, so <laughs> difficult. So I'm wondering what kind of palettes are your uh, your followers are mostly using? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm actually quite curious too. Uh, please let us know in the comments below what, what is your favorite brand. Uh, and uh, let us know if you actually tried some Morphe palettes and which ones are uh, your favorites. And uh, maybe it's one of those that we actually tried today or are going to try. Because or maybe like the price. old ones from like, yeah. I don't know, maybe seven years. Mm -hmm. I, I still got them. Probably they're like, you can't even like use them because they are so old, seven years. <laughs> but like... Stone, you wouldn't be able to like... Probably, yeah. <laughs> probably. Right, okay. so what have we got here? So we've got we three, three more. Three more. So more Jacqueline? Yeah. Yeah, which one? Dark Magic or Ring the Alarm? Dark Magic. <clears throat> so I have the Ring the Alarm, you have the Dark Magic. I mean, they look the same uh, ring, here. Uh, ring the Alarm. Ring the Alarm. Does, ring it, the... does, it, does it ring the bell? It doesn't. Uh, should ring it? the bell. <laughs> should it? <laughs> ring the Alarm. J-Lo? J some? Oh, uh, maybe. Britney Spears? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Ring the Alarm. <laughs> anyway. Do, 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 do some... No! Cardi B? Ring the Alarm? Something? No? Okay. Not to me. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've, what we've got here. Ah, um, two different vibes, two different Completely. vibes. Completely. Yeah, this one is more like orange, uh, brown. Um, oh, it's very nice. Yeah, this one is nice. So this nice. one will be like an autumn vibe. Yeah, it is. Does actually. it ring the alarm? Uh, <laughs> no, but maybe. I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, ring the alarm, I would be like, you know, bright pinks, purples, yellows. Oh, but it ring depends the on the pigmentation. Like... Look, let's see, like, for example, this orange one. Does it ring anything? No, it's actually very autumnal. It's like a rust. Uh, it's very powdery too. Don't you think the pigmentation is... It looks like poop, but like, what's the pigmentation? It looks like a very dark tan. Yeah. And it's very powdery. It's, um, uh, I don't know. Let's try this one maybe. Mm, is it everything? What happened here? I mean, uh, okay, so it looks like this. So we are not impressed so far, are we? It doesn't ring the alarm at all. It doesn't. Try, let's try Bombas, sure. yeah. And then uh, Lolly. Okay, so I can already tell. Just try and uh, swap, dab your finger in it. Uh, it actually feels different. The other um, doesn't. It, it's more like, oh, this one is actually quite nice. But then... It's not so powdery. Yeah, but that, they feel a bit different. They're not not so buttery like the previous um, sparkly eyeshadows in the previous palettes, don't okay. you think? They, yeah. But yeah, the, the purple the, one is scrap. Hmm. Yeah. So the shimmers, mm, maybe not so bad, but look at the pigmentation of these two. I don't know if you can see, but this is just not impressive at all. Like. <sighs> it definitely doesn't ring the bell. Yeah. The I alarm, mean, actually. Mm, no. I okay. mean, I'm quite surprised because again, Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill's palette is supposed to be better formula. This is actually worse than regular eyeshadow palettes from Morphe, from what I can see. Yeah, but sometimes when you got collaboration with someone, yeah. it's like from here, it's dropping completely down. Yeah, this is not good. Right, the so shades are nice, uh, autumnal. Um, let, let, okay, let, let's, let's wait. Just let's trust yeah. the process. Let's see the other one. All right. So that one is Dark Magic. Dark Magic? Yeah, Dark Magic. So definitely, as the name is saying, there's some dark shades. Uh, you haven't used this one, did you? No, I haven't yet. Right. No. We, uh, we've seen loads of green, so let's see how is this one green working. So this is like a nice khaki one. It's very soft. So this one is definitely a pressed, pressed powder. So it's very powdery. Mm -hmm. It's very dry. So it's definitely going to make loads of fallout when you're going to do the makeup on your face. Uh, so that's the khaki one. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, let's see the... Oh, this one's nice. Busted. It's same same consistency. Very nice and dark pressed powder. Mm -hmm. uh, gonna do a lot of mess. And uh, which one? Uh, Maybe let's try this one. The version, the which version. is like a. Mm -hmm. That's like a, one of the shimmers here. Um. Let's see. So we've got the khaki one. We've got the navy blue, uh, and the shimmery one. Pigmentation is not impressive again. On the mattes, mm, it's just like, it's kind of like, um, you can see through them. You mm -hmm. can see through them quite a lot. Comparing to the other palettes, like normal, regular Morphe palettes, this pigmentation is not that impressive. No, it's it's quite average uh, mm -hmm. quality. 
even the even the shimmery ones are like they are, I feel they are very sticky. Yeah, I mean it, they're different. I think that it will be difficult to like blend them. Mm -hmm. So definitely just patching and dabbing the eyeshadow on the eye will be the uh, the main yeah. way of applying the yeah. the actual product. But um, so so. So yeah, so these two definitely probably the worst out of the whole collection so far. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, we're left with the last one here, a tiny. Morphe. Well, not a tiny, but it's like nine uh, pan eyeshadow palettes. This is always golden. Uh, and this is how it looks. So as you can see, very everyday <laughs> <laughs> classic shades. I think this is something everybody would choose if they were, Definitely. If they were supposed to choose like a first eyeshadow palette, this would probably be that, you know? I think that this is shade. like one of the eyeshadow palettes that everyone has to have yeah. in their, in their makeup. Yeah, this is like a classic. Yeah, so <clears> as <throat> you can see, um, this is not, this is like a very neutral, I would say. I don't, um, I mean, some of the shades are more cool tone, some of them are like warm, but I don't think, I, I think it's like generally it's more like neutral. Yeah, this is like a classic mm -hmm. eyeshadow palette, nothing spectacular. Yeah. But this is something that everyone should have. Do you want to swatch it or should I? Yeah, you should swatch it because I've got the okay. wet hands. So I'm going to, which colors? Um, I'm going to yeah, swatch Yeah, the light one, one, get the brown, dark one, and the black. Let's see. Quite messy, unfortunately. This one. There's a lot of fallout. And check the black one yeah. as well, just to be curious. So this is how it looks, and then quick swatch. Um, mm, yeah. So maybe my main advice for you would be to uh, just stick, just try and buy big palettes from Morphe. They just seem better. I don't know why. Yeah, because I think I, I think, in my this personal is. opinion. Morphe is used like is known for like those those average uh, those average palettes. This is yeah. like the average si like a normal typical size for Morphe, mm -hmm. and they've got lots of different colors and shades. And the yeah. quality is like I think it's stronger than in those small palettes. I yeah. think the small one is like oh let's think about something new because those are not selling well. Yeah. So maybe let's create something more compatible. So get, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe they just um, use a different formulation for the bigger one, but the bigger one definitely are much better. And like all the big ones that we opened were really nice. Even the Jeffree Star. Even, yeah, even that one. And the small ones, not so much. I mean, the, the, the pink, dark pink one was actually nice, but the, other than that, these two mm. and the nine pound one, um, it's just not that impressive. I mean, it's not probably the worst eyeshadow palette I've tried, like uh, in, terms of, in terms of pigmentation, but it's, average. but it's very average, it's very average. Yeah, so if you want to spend your money, just invest in a bigger one. Um, and it's um, not much difference, like what? The, it's nine pounds for the small one and on the discount price, it's yeah, but then, then the I guess one. you can get uh, on, discount price, on the discount price, I, I think the smaller ones are actually even cheaper. So I guess people are sometimes tempted to buy the small ones. But uh, yeah, um, I would advise against it. <laughs> get the big, big one. one. Get the big one. <laughs> They're really lovely. The shades are gorgeous. And um, yeah, and the, the formula And the pigmentation and formula is better. Yeah. Okay, so after uh, swatching and checking like all those and trying all these palettes, what do you think about the brand in general? In general, I've been using Mac Morphe, Mac Morphe, Mac Morphe <laughs> for ages, and this was my first palette, and I've been using it for like now eight years, mm -hmm. and I'm still sticking with Morphe with like brushes and, yeah. and and eyeshadow palettes, and I think the big palettes are like are very okay and very affordable for like every generation. So I mm -hmm. think. It's a big yes from me. What would your advice be uh, to a, a people who are not makeup artists or who are beginners? Uh, how should they actually choose their palette maybe? Because we just decided that they still should go for a bigger palette because of the quality, obviously. And uh, I, I mean, I guess you can kind of create like even beginners looks with most of, the, most mm -hmm. of these palettes. I, th so I think it's like a personal opinion actually, because mm -hmm. if you stick with like neutral colors, mm -hmm. Okay, just stay with neutral colors. But if you want to be more versatile and you mm -hmm. want to like uh, practice and experiment more and be more creative, go with a big palette which one which has more colors and it's more versatile. Just to be like you know open for like different occasions because you, you're never gonna be without any palette. If you're gonna get the big one which has mm -hmm. different colors, you're still gonna have like oh festival look, I got it. Night out look, oh I got it. No look, I got it. <laughs> So you've got everything. So I think this is like a good option yes. to have like every every color. And it's not expensive. So That's come true. on. Some of the palettes are like 60 quid. And this one, 20. True. That's true. 
All right. So, I mean, thank you very much for joining us oh, you're today. Very welcome. I actually found out some um, cool stuff myself from you today. So, Extra I know how tips. to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you. That's um, if you want to find out more about like makeup uh, tips or hacks or whatever, uh, just uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to Arthur's channel. Yeah, somewhere down in the below. Yeah, we'll just put uh, the link there. But also remember to subscribe to our channel, to Random Lifestyle Vlog, and click the notification bell here because that's important if you don't want to uh, miss any of our new content. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for coming. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that is actually everything for today. We are going to see you very soon. Uh, probably with Arthur too. I mean, we're going to see each other yeah. soon. Case you know that's uh, I, know. I can't wait yeah. when you guys are gonna see me and Paulina on my channel actually. Yes, yeah, we've, we've it's been, it's been just difficult recently, it's been difficult, so um, yeah, it is what it is, but we're going to do that uh, definitely. Soon. Yeah, and that's going to be everything in today's episode. Thank you so much yeah. for having me, and I can't wait to drink this wine. Bye, Bye. ciao.